Wonder Woman Bloodlines is the newest film from the DC Universe animated original movies overall in the 36th film, 14th installments of the DC animated movie universe, and has another movie focusing on the character of Wonder Woman, based on the character created by William Matthew Marston, and this, this time in Wonder Woman Bloodlines is that Amazonian princess chooses to save fighter pilot Steve Trevor is a choice that will change her world and our world. Fulfilling the role of both ambassador as well as protector, Diana earns the name Wonder Woman from the gracious people of Earth. But her heart is as strong as her will as she is determined to help a trouble and embitter the young girl whom has fallen in with a daily organization only known as Villainy Incorporated. So, in this one, we have some myth and wonder, and you have brutal battles and a lot of Wonder Woman action. I'm going to be honest, I wasn't aware that this was coming out this year. I admit that. And I am a fan of the Wonder Woman character. I think she represents female empowerment. She's one of my favorite, she is my favorite, probably my favorite female character. In terms of superheroes, it goes. But Wonder Woman Bloodlines, actually solid. It's actually a quite a solid film from this animated D DC animated universe. It was fun. I enjoyed myself. The action is very well done here. It's, it's a lot of cool action that I liked. It was fun. It was entertaining. I really liked this premise. You are doing his origin story somewhat again, but at the same time you're also going for something a little different. Which, and I like the the voice acting in this movie. Rosario Dawson does the voice of Wonder Woman. This is pretty cool. Nia Vardalos from My Big Fat Greek Wedding. She's also in here. And you have you have Steve Trevor and Etta Candy and Cheetah making her appearance in this before she comes into play in live action form in the Wonder Woman 1984 next year, which is my most anticipated film of 2020. I will be doing that video privately on StreamYard and then editing it. And then it will be released. The voice acting is great. Animation is always really well done. There wasn't a single part of this plot that I wasn't really into. Why much? And in terms of directing and writing, the Wonder Woman Bloodlines is easily matches the awesomeness of this of this movie. Yes, I finally have this on Blu-ray, but I'm still keeping the DVD for the live-action film. Anyways, I will say that it looks it looks cool that they actually went into their own direction here. The the organization I was a little hit and miss with that, but after a while it I got used to it. Only problem only nitpick with Wonder Woman 1984. I'm not sorry. With Wonder Woman Bloodlines, I I didn't mean to say 1984 because that doesn't come out until June of next year. But we are getting the trailer next month, so I'm very happy about that. Can't wait for that trailer, and as well as possibly the Black Widow trailer. What is up? Only issue 
however with it is the movie's a little short but I can I can get over it cuz I still like the movie but I just wish I, it was a little more longer but Wonder Woman Bloodlines is pretty insane it's pretty awesome it's pretty badass and I will give Wonder Woman Bloodlines my Spider-Verse I'm debating do I want to give this a Spider-Verse or do I want to give it an epitastic I hang on But yeah, I'll give Wonder Woman Bloodlines an epitastic. Let me know what you guys think of Wonder Woman Bloodlines down below. Did you like it? Did you hate it? I'll see you guys in the next one. You guys keep cool. Enjoying the epitasticness.